Hello everybody, Kazri88 here, and welcome back today to our new 1.19 Hardcore Survival World, after our last world met a rather unexpected end. Yeah. Fortunately though, we now have shaders, Optifine Zoom, and of course, Replay Mod. Wunderbar. At the end of the last playthrough, I asked you what you wanted to see, and overwhelmingly it was another Hardcore playthrough series, so here we are, episode 1, not Four, to save confusion, although I did put this in Hardcore Survival 1.19 playlist, so confusion? But a fresh new, new start. Glad we cleared that up. So yeah, here I am, back to punching trees, but uh, fortunately it looks like there is a load of sheep nearby, so I'm going to be able to get myself... Oh, didn't want seven craft tables, never mind. But uh, hopefully I'll be able to get myself a bed pretty quick, because beds in Hardcore Minecraft are your friend. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry! Ooh, fire tick, bad. And sorry. But I've got my first bed of the game, so on to a win. And yes, I thought I'd talk about the goals for this series, so the goals for this series will be pretty much the same as last series, but may make it past three episodes. Um, but after getting the comment, you know, do a hardcore world and this time be safe, I've decided what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that in every episode I fight something, like, you know, a hostile mob. So obviously I might fight like a few things in one episode, but from that episode I'll have to count the skeleton as, right, okay, I've killed a skeleton, now next time I can fight a zombie or something. And uh, I was doing the math the other day and you run out of easy to fight mobs pretty quick. So uh, yeah, we'll do that and we'll see, we'll see how that goes. Because who wouldn't want to have to end up fighting the warden in hardcore Minecraft, Minecraft eh? Eh? Ooh, stone. Yes, please. Get, get out of my way. You're literally asking for it. I'm a hungry Minecraft player, okay? Okay, that's enough for a full set of stone gear. And a couple of furnaces. That is some weird land generation there, 1.19. What is going on? YOLO! Except it's hardcore, so you literally only live once. I am not going down there until I have a shield. Ooh, handy. Guess what colour effing my own is going to be on this uh, on this server, at least for a while. So I think my main objective is going to be to find a village, like I explained in my last series. Kind of Finding a village is kind of like key to everything. So once you get villages, you can unlock trading, you can make farms, iron farms, all that kind of stuff. Um, so yes, yeah, so I think that is what we're going to make our main goal for today. Find a village, get some basic gear together, and something that we didn't even get round to in my last season, make a nice starter house. Which I have already put a few ideas together in a creative world, but uh, got to get the stuff first. Is that... That's got to be a sh... Is that a ship? Excuse me, sand coming through. That... That can't... Is it? Why would the wood form like that? Yeah, it's just got to be a ship, isn't it? It's a shipwreck. It is. <laughs> oh, wow. That is... That is one of the weirdest shipwreck spawns that I have I have ever seen, I think. Oh, I wonder if it'll have ruined the chests. Oh, I might not have any chests in it. I mean, it can't. Have to just have a, have a little dig around and have a look. So, on a big ship like this, you'll have at least two, possibly three chests. And one will be in the bow, and one will be in the st... Ooh, I see a chest. Anyway, as I was saying, one will be in the bow, and one will be in the stern. So this is the... stern? Come on, be saying good, come on. Ooh, that's not bad for a start. I can at least get my shield, and it's worth nearly drowning for. Suit up! Okay, well now that I know that the chests at least still spawn, I may as well see if the other one is in the front. I've just had a big brain moment. I figured out if I dig straight down, that should take me to the bow. I realize I've been an idiot. That's like the central mast, so this would be the bow mast. <laughs> Perseverance! Um not gonna lie, not great. Definitely not uh, worth the time that I spent on it. So let's uh, let's let's not talk about how much time I spent on finding that. But I mean, look at the mess I've left here. You can probably imagine. Oh, planes! Maybe I can get myself a horsey. Horsey. Ooh, and interesting caves. Right, let me see if I can get some decent 
Remember my boat's over there. What? Where are we? All of the twos, very handy. Ooh. I've got to remember I'm playing hardcore. Oh, this is in a beautiful place, this is. I do kind of feel sorry for villagers, you know. You, you, you turn up, you spawn into their world. You steal all their food. If you're me, you lock them in their houses. You. What on earth is up with this land generation lately? <laughs> uh, Piggy, you alright? I didn't kill that pig. That pig must have died from something. This one I did kill, though. Ah! That scared me. This could be a good canyon to explore, though. But at least there's some coal up there, so I can get some torches and coal down here as well. All of the coal, apparently. And I hear bad stuff, so there's probably a cave nearby. Okay, don't get carried away, cousin. Don't get carried away. Oh, I am. You're getting carried away. Okay, I think if we get out of here for now, check what good stuff I can find from the village. It's probably about to get dark by the looks of it. I'm not too worried about shutting these people in at the minute, because as long as I keep sleeping through the night, which I am, they should be safe. Although, saying that, before I go caving, I probably want to lock them in. I think this is where I'm going to build my, my start at home. But uh, we're going to do some caving first, get some resources together, and then I think we're going to build a nice, nice little house up here, I think. So I may as well start unpacking for now. Look at this. Rustic living at its finest. Where's my, where's my meat? There we go. Beautiful. Do you mind that you, you are, you're kind of like encroaching? You don't see me going into your place and like messing around with all your stuff. Okay, right. You, you do see me do that, but it's called a double standard. Okay, so, so far I've found five raw iron arm, uh, iron, got one iron ingot there. So I think the best I can hope for really is an iron helmet, which that's not too bad. Iron boots, iron helmet, definitely being in worse positions. I think we are ready to hit the caves. I think I spied a good entrance way over here earlier. It was marked with like a random tree at the front of it. <laughs> uh, I think it's here. I think this is where I saw. Yes, trees. Cuz are in a cave, what could go wrong? That's quite a big cave. The combination of the glow lichen, 1.19 land generation and shaders makes this very, very ominous. Nice. Okay, before I get anywhere, I'm smelting that up straight away because I'm pretty sure that is enough for me to get a chest plate. It is, it is enough for me to get a chest plate. Oh. We're in the big leagues now. Now I just need to get some trousers and uh, and I'm good to go. So there's a lot to explore here. There's, oh, is that wood? Yes, that's definitely a mine shaft. Okay, right, let's get this stuff out here and then we'll go into the mine shaft and uh, have some fun. If being in mine shafts in hardcore Minecraft is, is fun and there's an Enderman right behind me, do not look at the Enderman. I cannot lose a series again and this time to an Enderman. <sighs> And I finally got my leggings. Look how shiny I am. Oh, spider spawner, spider spawner. Is that two? Is that two? It's definitely at least one. Okay. Back foul beast. I don't think you can get out of there, can you? Perfect. And then there's a second one down there, which would probably be the poisonous ones. Oh, this is perfect, right? Okay. LNC is fantastic. They're going to be handy for making some farms. I'll take them use a disc, why not? And note where this is because, you know, it could be handy. So that could be a good early XP farm and source of... Um... Poisonous one. Poisonous one. Cave spider. Ah, damn you. So I'm pretty sure... Yeah, that's definitely a uh... cave spider spawner. Which even early on, they're not too bad to deal with. You just gotta get them lit up quick and just take your time with them. Remove the webs, because that's how they get you. You start panicking in a web. <laughs> Slow mo. I, I probably shouldn't have found that as funny as I did, but. And again, another great thing about these in mine shafts is this is now giving me loads of string to make bows for dispensers and things. So again, for early game farm making, very, very handy. I wouldn't mind, and I'm being cheeky because I've 
just found three spawners, but I wouldn't mind finding a skelly spawner. And I remember there was a bit earlier. I was walking around and all I could hear was skeletons. So I'm wondering, I'll start making my way back there if I will be lucky enough to find a skelly spawner as well today. Because you know, it doesn't happen very often, but sometimes Kaza has good luck. Okay, you just fell from somewhere. Yeah, it's raining zombies. Where are you falling from? I found a spawner. I'm assuming zombie spawner. Let's hope nothing bad falls on my head. I think I've lit it up enough already so nothing else can spawn. Ah, oh, I didn't get a chest. Stingy. Okay, cool. So we have got a zombie spawner here as well. I think a spider would be more used than a zombie spawner, but again, I'll make a note of the coordinates because you never know. Maybe I'll ask you to do a vote in the comments, see what spawner you want me to to mess around with first. Right, what goodies we got? Ooh, ooh, first diamonds. I mean, I, I found a diamond, but these are my first actual finding diamonds of the series, and it was one. Cheers, Minecraft. Ooh. Well, it'd be rude not to have a look in this chest as well, wouldn't it? What was that? Oh, it's just granite, it's fine. Another name tag, thank you very much. Again, that's going to make making some farms later a lot easier. <laughs> Badness. Oh, I knew I should have left. I knew I should have just left. Where did you even come from? Another spawner. Okay, okay. This is why I should have just left. Ooh! Quick, get foot spawns, get foot spawns. Where is it? Another spider spawner. My days, how many more spider spawns am I going to find? Oh my goodness, finding all the goodies right towards the end of when I want to be leaving this cave. It's like, the game knows me. The game's trying to tempt me in. Wants me to spend longer in the dangerous area. Okay, I'm just going to try and climb out of here because otherwise I'm going to spend so much longer down here. T level 26, that's not too far down. Oh, now to see where on earth in the world I am. Probably back at spawn. Not that far from spawn. Yeah, pretty much back at spawn. There's that beehive. Perfect. I've gone on a right little mystical tour. Let's have a look at what goodies we got. Okay, cool. So, excuse the weather, but you can see from that short trip away, um, only about an hour in that mine shaft. I've got over two stacks of iron, over two stacks of copper, a bit of gold. I've got golden apples, enchanted golden apples. I've got some veg stuff that I can use for growing stuff. I've got over a stack of lapis. I've got loads of redstone goodies, uh, string to make dispensers, make bows to make dispensers. Loads of good stuff. And like I say, it was only... Do you mind? I'm, I'm trying to talk to the audience. Um, okay, you can be in the background. That was only less than an hour of going through mines and things. So I think that is all the mining I need to do for now. Now what I need to do is start sorting out some other resources. You agree, don't you? Yes, Dum Dum agrees. He also said like and subscribe. So with me being equipped with the bare basics, I started setting up some simple farms for crops such as wheat and sugar cane, pumpkins, watermelon and started setting up my pens for the animals that I need to breed, especially for the cows for the leather. I also started harvesting some local wood, lots and lots of wood for my start to build, as I always try to build out of local resources, as that's what makes sense to me. And I treated myself to some of the new 1.19 wonder blocks. I am of course talking about mud and frogs. And finally, on my way back to base, I found a woodland mansion, which isn't too far from our camp, so we'll be doing that in the next episode. So yeah, quite a bit of resource gathering. And you can see behind me here, obviously even more stuff happened outside that time lapse, but wait, let me turn that down a second. Oh, that was a bit loud. Um, I accidentally made a, a villager capturing device. So a few jumped in and then there were so many in there that I thought I'm just gonna have to move the cows, but uh, I'm not too happy about this situation occurring over here. It's given me flashbacks to my first playthrough where uh, I accidentally knocked a golem resource gathering and it 
it's ended up ending my series, so we will be dealing with that at some point, whether it be a lava bucket and sacrifice the sheep or bow and arrow, but either way, that. You can't stay in there, my friend. But yes, you can see we are getting all of the crops. We're getting some good resources in, even some bamboo that I found on my merry travels. Um, but this, this is everything that we should need to build my starter base. So... If you don't mind, I think we will jump into a, a Dibby Dibby time lapse and uh, I will give you a tour once I'm finished. Sound good? Good? Good. One starter house complete. Well, I mean, I say complete. These bits don't have any windows because I designed them to be redstone lamps and I forgot they require quartz and we are not doing the never until next episode. And of course the bed is still outside because where else would you put your bed? But hey, at least the back's done. I mean, who doesn't do the back? And I've got a beautiful place here that I've lit up to stop any nasty spawning that is going to become my chest monster. That's a nice spacious main living area that I'm going to decorate, probably on a live stream, which if you want to see that, make sure to follow me on Twitch, Kuzzer88. And lastly, I've got a loft as well that, again, I've lit up just in case anything spawns up here. I don't know if I'm going to use this yet or not. If I do, there's definitely a lot of making pretty that I need to do up here. Um, so again, it, it may just be a storeroom or something. But I've still got a little bit of video time today and there's one last thing that I'd like to do. If you look, I've now acquired quite a few bookshelves. Just uh, if you don't like that kind of thing, don't uh, don't go counting the cows in the pen and uh, don't go questioning where all that steak came from. As you can see, I've only got two diamonds, which uh, is a bit of a problem when it comes to getting obsidian, which I need for making an enchanting table. Now, fortunately for me, when I was out exploring and getting mud for my build, I found another shipwreck, which I didn't raid because I was going to do it on a live stream. But um, I'm hoping that can get us a few diamonds so I can build the table and mine the obsidian. It should be somewhere around... Ah! So this is an upside down one, so this might only have one chest in it. So there's one. Ooh, treasure map. Okay, I think there's at least two. I went... Did not panic for a second. On an unrelated note, I need a change of underwear. Okay, well, that gives me one diamond so I can now make the pickaxe, but I still need a diamond for the enchanter. So that's... This should be... Nearish? Yeah, getting bigger that way, isn't it? There we go, going in the right direction. Definitely the right way, so it'll be somewhere over there. Okay, this is what I hate about Bay Treasure. I couldn't be any more on the X if I tried. So it should be somewhere here. 
In my experience, Bay Treasure is it is never X marks the spot. Oh, well, I did say sometimes because it gets lucky. Please don't be absolutely useless. Money. Why is it the potion of water breathing is always in the treasure that you needed the potion of water breathing to get? Now I just need to get the obsidian, which if I remember correctly, there was a lava pool right at spawn because there was that giant fire at the start of the video. Oh, look at that view from down here. I just, I'm happy with my build, okay? Home sweet home. This is always fun. Again, I know I'm biased, but I really like that house. If you want to see a tutorial for it, let me know in the comments. And I'll make a tutorial and I'll even make a world download of it as well. Shiny! Don't judge me. I'm easily excited. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, have some bookshelves. Why not? A little bit of light in here. Also, can we... We appreciate just how expensive lanterns are in the early game. Super expensive. Okay, and let's see what kind of goodies we are being offered. Efficiency 2? Okay, it's not bad. Just efficiency 2. Let's get some low level enchantments on our gear as well. Fire protection? Maybe let's roll the dice again. It really wants to give me unbreaking, doesn't it? What about on books? Oh, you offer me feather falling on, on a book. Oh, not bad. I'll take that. Perfect. Okay, they're pretty low enchantments, but it's okay. That is better than nothing, especially in the early game. Yeah, that's all I'm going to decorate inside here on this episode. And obviously, this isn't even finished as well. I'll do the rest of this on a live stream. So as I said, again, if you want to see that, make sure you follow me over on Twitch, Kazu88. And if you've enjoyed this episode, maybe you'll enjoy that video that YouTube suggested to you in the top left. Or maybe you'd like to check out the SMP that I play on elsewhere, which is up there in the uh, top right. Just uh, give it a little look. And until next time, love you, miss you, bye.